you ever sought a better and more nuanced understanding of how China's political system works? Have you ever wondered about the relationship between the Communist Party and the Chinese people? And do you want an update on recent political developments in the People's Republic of China and、uh, an understanding of the major Chinese policies in play today, such as the Belt and Road Initiative? Well, if so, then our course here in Shanghai at Nordic Center Fudan University is for you. You'll be joining about 30 other Nordic students from our member universities、uh, for an intensive learning experience involving lectures, excursions, and interactions with local peers. The main、uh, lecturer this year is Professor Jan Delmen、uh, from the University of Copenhagen. Uh, but you'll also be interacting with various other guest lecturers, both academics and professionals, working here in Shanghai. And you can read last year's program on our website, nordiccenter.net, for an idea. The course is only open to students from Nordic Center at Fudan University's member universities, so you can go to nordiccenter.net/members to see if your home institution is part of our network. Yeah, hundred、yes. percent. It's、yes. an amazing yes. experience, yes. both academically in terms of like all the extracurricular activities, the people you meet here.、Um, you will get great friends, eat good food, have so much fun, and study very interesting、uh, topics by great teachers. I agree. This perspective, seeing the seeing、uh, the Chinese society from within, has been、um, very enlightening. I would definitely recommend the program for. Both people who are in, very interested in politics, but also people who might never have studied politics before,、um, because it's a, it's just a great introduction to to China. Like I think that one of the best points is like the broad、uh, view we get from all these different angles. It's so different, and it's a very very complex society. And for my part, it's also been very interesting to.、Um, To have students from different academic fields as well, because that also challenges your perspectives on things. And we、yeah. learn、yes. so much. Like every、yeah. day, we're like, we can't believe we've only been here one or two days. Yeah. Because we've learned so much in such a short time. Yeah. So, yeah. I think we definitely tend to、um, view on China in a very Western perspective. Yeah, understand the Asian view a little bit better, and understand that you have to learn so much more. Like, and you know, so little. I guess we never really covered China in school, and when we do, it's from a very like American perspective, I guess. So I really wanted to know like more specific about China, and it's like because it's rising so quickly. So I wanted to know like why and like what do people think and what like impact that will have on the world from a non-Western perspective. And I found it very interesting to to hear from or to hear more of the Chinese perspective、uh, on the pol- politics as well, because I think it's interesting to to have. Several perspectives in order to make up your own opinion, in a way. So I've been following China's involvement in Africa, specifically East Africa, where I also have roots, and it was very interesting to see their involvement there and how it's been different from the Western counterparts, for instance, the U.S. or Europe, and how they're, in a way, also shaping the world and trying to emerge as a new super. I found the lectures on BR, the BRI, the Belt and Road Initiative, very interesting.、Um, just because that's something you read about in the yeah, that's something you read about in the media.、Um, uh, so it's good to get a, a more like in-depth understanding of the BRI and also、um, learn more about the different projects in different countries that are part of it in a way,、uh, in a more theoretical approach and academic、uh, approach. Yeah. He was so passionate and just like、yeah. interesting, and he brought in like personal stories, which made you really、yeah. connect to it. It was、yeah. so fascinating. Really. Yeah. Yeah, and also that he、um, he did it in a very factual way. He didn't try to influence our viewpoints in any way. So you could feel he was very well read, and he knew exactly what he was、yeah. talking about. And he just wanted us to like reflect and think. About what he what、uh, what he shared, and definitely also just how he was so good at also showing different points of view and different perspectives,、yeah. even if you do not agree with them. It's just about like trying to see and understand things from the perspective of people who actually experience it, and from the inside perspective. Yeah, yeah. we learned here how effective they are carrying out policies, and now during our time here, they have implemented this recycling system. Yes. 
it was such a refreshing point of view to understand that and, and see that other systems can work that mm -hmm. isn't necessarily mm -hmm. the Western one yeah. and how they also have like their challenges that in a funny way it's actually quite similar to some of the challenges that we face in the West and in other countries as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's good that we um, get to visit like for example the European China, uh, Chamber of Commerce and uh, also the consulates so it's a bit more practical uh, than we're used to. For me, I think the visit to ECC is, is the most uh, exciting and interesting. So it was very nice to get like a, a fresher breath air in terms of getting other perspectives, such as when we had the visit to the European Chambers of Commerce and how they uh, look at China, Europe, China, North relations in a, from a different perspective that isn't necessarily political focused. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's more focused on the business, but there's also how that is connected to the whole political system and how that also shapes mm -hmm. uh, the experience of being here. I think the trip we had to Suzhou was very fun. Uh, so it's a good thing that there's also like a social perspective. No, I thought it was great. So we went to the evening performance, and it was amazing. So we got to see the garden at night, yeah. and all the traditional performances and instruments. Uh, it was like, it was the highlight of the trip, almost. It somehow was also a break from the academic, and then you could just um, have some time to explore China, to visit the beautiful gardens, and, and to spend time with the friends that you made. Yeah, oh yeah, and then the dinner. Um, they're carrying like a fish. And we're like, what is that? And it's a fish that turned like inside out and with tomatoes the size. And it was, just, it was great. Yeah, they did. Yeah, the one that yeah. looked like an explosion. Yeah, the party fish. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And just, we've ate a lot. <laughs> a lot of food. <laughs> food. <laughs> Don't please. Yeah. yeah. And Shanghai, just as a city, like, I knew that Shanghai was one of the more developed cities in China but it has such a youthful vibe and it's so amazing and so much fun to be here as like a young person trying to explore and, like all the fun stuff you can do here. Yeah, and the campus is beautiful as well. Yes. I think it was nice to see like uh, the Bond and the Shanghai Tower. They are like incredible. Um, it's very nice to experience that like incredibly big city and like there are so many people. So if you come from Nordic countries, it's a uh, Big shock when you like see so many people on the streets, and also the metros are like filled with people. So that's an experience, but yeah, it was cool. I agree. And also, I think what's cool with Shanghai is somehow the contrast. You see, you have like these beautiful gardens and temples and small houses, and then right beside you have huge skyscrapers yeah. and uh, super high tech technology. Yeah. yeah, you learn a lot by. Uh, living in a short period in, in such a different country. I think the best way to learn something about something new about yourself is to learn about others. Uh, I mean, like, for example, Tai Chi, I thought that was relaxing. It's actually very stressful. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and also just the management of the course. Uh, I really feel like we've been taken care of, which is, which feels good because you're in a foreign country and it's a lot to take in, so yeah. Yeah, but then also like for me, I guess it was like the people. You guys, you know. Uh, <laughs> no, it was like we met so many like wonderful people, and yeah. we became friends so fast. Like I can't believe it's been two weeks. It yeah. was like two years almost. And also the fact that we're a group of mostly European, uh, and then we of course have Bessie, <laughs> but European yeah. students uh, in China uh, experiencing something together also makes it a lot easier to to um, become friends because you have something in common. Yeah. You're, you're experiencing a new uh, culture and country together in a way. I feel I feel like I'm I'm, I'm at home here. Definitely. Oh, yeah. I always go to like that one old lady that makes those like Chinese pancakes and like yeah. she knows my order. Yeah. <laughs> She's so cute.